Okay, so moving straight on, um, let's have a look at our mesh data and what you should see in there along with what you would normally expect, your vertex groups, is we should have a load of shape keys down here and these are our morphs that we've exported. I'm just going to grab hold of these two dashes here and expand this list. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them as you can see in there. Uh, so let's find something, and this is something Blender does which I don't particularly like, it tends to scramble the order of them, um, so you may want to fiddle with that, I'm going to keep it as it is for now, but if we have a look in here we've got, uh, let's find, hmm, there we are, full body map one, so let's try this one at FBM, this was, uh, oh yep, so that's portly, so you'll notice that's come across beautifully, what's also happened, you'll notice that's consuming his uh, his underpants. If we go to the underpants, the briefs, and we find that one again, so that's an FBM somewhere down here. There'll be an FBM which says P after it, there it is. We can actually expand his pants to match his weight. So this is really, really handy. This is going to help us when we are um, creating clothes on our Uma character. Um, so that wants to come across. However, what I want to point out is there are far too many morphs here. You can see, let's have a quick look at the top here. We've got morphs that have come across with head on the front. And you can see that's got that E control V. So these are um, phonemes that have come across. But uh, I don't know if I can expand this anymore. Yes, I can. There we go, we can see the names now. Um, this E control V is a phoneme. Now if we keep looking down, you'll see there's also Genesis male phonemes. So we've got a duplicate set of morphs here, all of which eats up resources, which we don't want. So I'm going to go through and delete all these head morphs, because I know I have uh, some proper copies of these phonemes. So they can all go. Okay, so that's reduced me down. Um, let's have a look what else we've got. So you can see we've got all of our voice phonemes here. That looks good. No duplicates. And we should have in amongst there, um, I'm just going to grab these and put them at the top. So let's put the bodybuilder details up here. Emaciated bodybuilder size. Let's just shift that to the top of the list. And it should be portly there. Let's shift that to the top of the list. Okay, so that's tidied up. I've got my main shapes, uh, which work lovely, and I've got my four names at the bottom. Um, so again, a little bit of tidying up to do there, and depending on what you've exported from Daz, you may have more work to do than me, or less. Um, I'm going to have to do this for all of the meshes I have. So say, for example, the briefs themselves, um, Great, let's let's start with the same thing. Let's get rid of all these head meshes. Sorry, head morphs. Okay. Um, and actually, all of these facial expressions, I can't see us using them on his underwear, so let's get rid of those too. All we're really interested in are the um, actual full body morphs. Okay, and that's left me with this lot. Now, um... I've got a couple of others here that I didn't see. We've got to expand all, which mm -hmm. that isn't part of my morph set for the body, so don't need it. Let's throw it away. I've got a Michael Eight morph here, which gives him a wedgie. Um, again, that's not part of my main body, so I'll get rid of it. That should leave me with just the four. Uh, that's it, just the four standard body morphs. Let's make sure they're in the same order. Build the details. I'll tell you what, let's build the details, build the size, emaciated, and portly. Let's do the same on here. Um, so build the details at the top. Size, emaciated, portly. Again, I'm not sure that's entirely necessary. It's the name that matters. Um, however, that's just made it nice and organized. So, uh, we now know we can do uh, export our body shape and we export our briefs and we're going to use the minimum amount of memory. Um, the last mesh we have in there is the eyelashes. This is unaffected by anything so I'm going to simply uh, remove where are we? Oh, 
need to be on something other than the basis. I'm going to delete all shapes. Lovely. Right, so that's our morph sorted. Um, so they're all prepared, they're all cleaned up. We're pretty much ready to start splitting this up for Uma. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.